games industry is worth billions of pounds every year. But it's not all AAA studios and blockbuster titles behind this incredible success story. In fact, there's a whole load of indie game developers up and down the country who are pushing the boundaries of storytelling in gaming. One such developer is White Paper Games, set up in 2012 by Pete Bottomley. This Manchester-based studio is made up of a team of developers working in art, design, storytelling and audio, who all graduated from the University of Central Lancashire's games course. After receiving rave reviews for their first game, Ether One, in 2014, White Paper have recently released their second title, The Occupation, which is set much closer to home. Based in a fictional 1980s northern town called Turing, the occupation's look draws heavily on local surroundings, including the iconic Salford Lads Club. I love these stairs. Which was made famous when it appeared in the artwork on the Smiths' seminal album, The Queen Is Dead. And I'm here to get a first play and find out more about the game's design and development with environment artist Oliver. This is amazing. <laughs> How much inspiration did you draw from the architecture of places like this? A lot. I want it to be familiar to people in England, especially from the north. Oh, wow, this staircase basically looks exactly like the staircase we just walked up. And the beams, like in here? The occupation has a gripping storyline. Taking on the role of journalist Harvey Miller, you're tasked with uncovering a conspiracy behind a terror attack. A good journalist leaves no stone unturned. And just like a real-life investigator, clues are played out in real time. So if you're not in the right place at the right time, you'll miss out on vital information that will help solve the crime. Time is the, the commodity that we play with because you can't die. There's, you know, there's no health bar. Mm. Time is the sacrifice you have to play with as the player. The occupation takes place over four and a half hours, and the ever-decreasing time limit is shown on clocks scattered throughout the game. OK, sir, uh, this is off limits. Because the story changes depending on your position within the game and when, it means the game has multiple endings, so you play it over and over again, each time with a new experience. I'm sorry, am I keeping you from something? You're on a final warning, Mr Miller. If this happens again, you will be removed from the premises. I really, really love the voice acting in this game. You know, a lot of games, you're trying to infiltrate places, but you often have weapons and stuff, and I really like that this is like a non-violent version of that. White Paper's development of The Occupation is a perfect example of how an indie game studio can make quirky games that really reflect where they came from. More, please.